Hey everybody, Fallout here. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You, yeah, you, you know who I'm talking to. A lot of people out here watching the video, but I'm talking directly to you. Click that big red button already and feel the sense of power that it brings you like a hive worm without any drawback. Anyway, today Bungie put out the long-awaited exorcism mission, aka the final story mission of the current season, which is supposed to be the narrative bridge between the end of Season of the Lost and the launch of the Witch Queen. A lot of people have been waiting for this mission for kind of a long time. Some people have been repeatedly predicting and often failing when it would actually drop. But now that it's here, there's kind of a really big problem. The final mission is match made, meaning that you can launch it on your own and get paired up with a bunch of randoms who you don't know. Now, normally that would be pretty great. Good for solo players out there or for people whose friends may not be available to play that day. However, here's the problem. At the end of the mission, there's that really crucial cutscene I mentioned. Apparently, if anyone on your randomly match made fire team at all decides they want to skip that cutscene, it will skip that cutscene for the entire party. So if you're interested in that final pre witch queen scene, <laughs> whoops, one bad apple can kind of F it up for everybody, apparently. Clearly a mistake on Bungie's part. I'm sure they didn't do that one intentionally, but uh, yeah, still kind of bad. Actually, it's especially bad because if you skip that cutscene, then uh, your quest doesn't progress. You literally need to watch that cutscene in order for that quest to complete. Bungie has also mentioned on Twitter that if you move too quickly during the bridge portion of the encounter, it can F up the mission. And they're also flat out asking people <laughs> to please don't skip the cutscene. It's all just a wonderfully delightful mess. And of course, it would happen before a major expansion. I must have gotten really lucky because I did it right at reset today and everything went fine. For now, keep your eyeballs peeled to Bungie help on Twitter. Hopefully they'll get everything straightened out between now and next week. In the meantime, if you want to watch the cutscene, do one of the following things. One, go on to LFG and find a group of people who know that the party and playing condition is to not skip the cutscene. Or number two, you can watch the final cutscene of my playthrough today, which I will show you right now. Enjoy. Oh boy. Here we go. Stupid chair. Don't do it. Don't touch her. You're running out of time. I feel my sister bearing down on you. Your family is tenacious, if nothing else. No True story. More than yours. My brother spent years suffering punishment for the path you made him walk. Finally, justice finds its mark. Let this be the end of it. end of it let this be the end Yeah, I'm sure that knife will protect you. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Oh boy. 